Welcome to NBC News Daily. We are glad to have you. We begin with new details into the massacre that unfolded inside a bank in Louisville, Kentucky. Police identified the gunman as 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon. They searched his home yesterday. Just moments ago, authorities said that Sturgeon was a current employee at the bank and that he bought the gun legally exactly one week ago. They also say the gunman live streamed the attack on Instagram, capturing the moments he shot and killed five of his colleagues at the bank. Meta, the company that owns Facebook and Instagram, said in a statement it quickly removed the live stream of that incident. NBC News correspondent Maggie Vespa is live in Louisville for us today. Uh, Maggie, police say they are going to release body cam video of the shooting later this afternoon. What are the officials saying as of right now, this press conference uh, that you've been watching about the moments that that led up to the attack. Yeah, Vicky Joe, as you know, you guys had one of the biggest headlines to come out of this press conference, which, by the way, is still going on inside that room back there. The mayor, the chief of police, uh, the chief medical officer at the local hospital that's treating the four victims who are still hospitalized following this shooting. But that biggest headline, a lot of the big questions we had was about the rifle itself, about how Connor Sturgeon got a hold of it. And as you said, they just revealed inside that press conference that they say Sturgeon bought that weapon legally on April 4th from a local dealership. They also say yesterday, as we knew, that officers had executed a search warrant on Connor Sturgeon's residence here in the Louisville area. They say they found items inside that home. They weren't prepared at this point to say what those items were. But again, another key piece of evidence that we've been waiting to see is that body camera footage from police, who again, is charged onto the scene here in downtown Louisville within three minutes of shots fired being reported. We are expecting that to be released this afternoon. So a lot of updates coming from inside that room, guys. So Maggie, we are hearing from people who work at the bank or worked at the bank and knew Sturgeon and say they were shocked yeah. to learn it was him. What are we learning about the gunman? Yeah, so at this point, you know, another big headline that had come out, and, and we were waiting on official word from this, and we just got it, was that Sturgeon was indeed a current employee of Old National Bank. There have been some other headlines that maybe he was a former employee, perhaps a recent former employee, which some wondered if that led to this incident. And we can now say that he was currently employed. He showed up to his current place of work and opened fire on that morning meeting at 8.30 yesterday morning. We've also learned some other employees were actually zooming into that meeting, working remotely, and they watched live via Microsoft Teams as their co-workers were slain in their office space. So again, Sturgeon at this point, we've learned through senior officials familiar with the investigation prior to this press conference that he may have had a history of mental health issues. But again, he was a current employee of Old National Bank, 25 years old, with a master's degree from the University of Alabama. So the picture of who he was and what may have led up to this coming a little more into focus, guys. But as you know, a lot of questions still remaining at this time and police promising to release more as soon as they can as this investigation unfolds. And quickly, Maggie, what are we learning about those who survived and also the victims who did not? Absolutely. So as you know, guys, we had our fifth victim pass away, Deanna Eckert, 57 years old, also an employee of Old National Bank, uh, the mayor inside this press conference, because the connections within this circle, within this community just seem to be endless. The mayor said, I also knew Deanna. She was also a friend of mine, calling her a really thoughtful person. So he said this is hitting him personally as well. At this point, we also have four people inside the hospital, two in the ICU. That includes Officer Nicholas Wilt, the officer just two weeks out of the academy less than two weeks who was shot in the head during this incident he remains in critical condition guys kentucky's governor also lost a close friend to this one too nbc news correspondent maggie vespa thank you for that update thanks for watching our youtube channel follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the nbc news app